you absolutely know again that this is another section of a tongue for the same reason that it was when we saw our previous case of circumvallate papilla. You can see serous glands all throughout here, 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 here. All these blue structures are serous glands. They're bluish. Uh, they uh, secrete serous fluid. All of these little fibers intermingled every which way between them are clear cut skeletal muscle fibers, which you could see here. You could see striations or at least I could see striations here when you cut the uh, fiber longitudinally. And when you happen to cut some of these things transversely, uh, you could see that the nuclei are clearly at the periphery of the fiber, like here, 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 here. And I wish you could see these uh, striations as well as I can. In some areas, they're a little bit exaggerated like this. But in some areas, the striations are very, very fine, like you see here. So anyway, when you see skeletal muscle fibers running every which way, like the intrinsic uh, muscles do, and they're interspersed with these serous glands, and they're underlying a squamous mucosa, and the uh, squamous mucosa uh, now has a type of papilla, which no longer looks like a big toed stool. It looks more like a smaller squared off structure. This is a foliate, F O L I A T E, uh, papilla. And they also contain taste buds. There are four kinds of taste buds in your tongue the circumvallate, which we saw, which has taste buds, these foliate papilla, which are more squared off, which also contain taste buds like you see here, so very similar to the ones we saw in the circumvallate ones. And then you have fungiform papilla, which are more numerous on the uh, anterior to the circumvallate papilla and much smaller. And last but not least, you have that last type of taste bud, which does not, I'm sorry, of papilla, which does not have taste buds, and that's the filiform. And those are just little spiky areas of a hyperkeratinized epithelium, which are involved with combing the food and not having taste buds at all. And just as though a cat uh, would lick you and it feels like sandpaper, those are the uh, filiform papilla, which is the only kind that does not have taste buds. Here's some more von Ebner's glands. Here's a duct of a von Ebner's gland. Here's another duct of a von Ebner's glands. Here are the actual acinar uh, serous secreting structures of a von Ebner's gland. Here is a duct. Here is uh, a duct coming in close proximity to the actual surface of the taste bud. And lo and behold, here's a taste bud here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And this taste bud comes so close to the surface, you could almost think that you're right at that tiny little uh, taste pore. And of course, most of the cells in the taste, blood, taste bud are <laughs> supporting cells, but they are also mixed in with the actual neural uh, sensory cells. And sometimes it's pretty difficult to tell them apart, but the majority of these are supporting cells. And the ones which may look a little darker and spindlier are more likely to be the cells which actually initiate the uh, taste uh, impulse. Uh, here's just some uh, lamina propria connective tissue. It looks like there's some fibroblasts and lymphocytes, perhaps uh, mucosal associate, associated lymphoid tissue or malt, uh, perhaps some plasma cells in here, perhaps some macrophages. In this area, we have chiefly fibroblasts or loose connective tissue. But here we're starting to get some skeletal muscle fibers, aren't we? Uh, because that's, they're kind of coming in from the big skeletal muscle basis of the tongue itself. This could very easily be a uh, either a compressed gland or maybe a nerve. This looks kind of like a nerve over here. And here are some more serous Ebner's glands. Here's a duct of an Ebner's gland. Here's some more skeletal muscle fibers. And once again, I'm going to ask you one more time in this shotgun histology series, is there one single thing 
you could not identify on this section of tongue on the lateral side where you have the folate papilla. I don't think so. The one thing we did not mention, however, is that you have a nice collection of lymphoid tissue here or here, and probably here to a lesser extent, which does not have a clear-cut germinal center, and therefore it would be called a primary follicle or primary nodule rather than a secondary one. If it had a lighter germinal center, you could then uh, call it a secondary follicle or secondary. And of course, you all know what this is because it's so classical. It's just a small nerve with wavy, foamy cytoplasm, almost in, cut longitudinally, almost 100% Schwann cells surrounding the lighter axons on the inside. So now I will officially say we have now identified every possible thing you could identify on the tongue here in the lateral region. So I will. Thank you very much.